so hello everyone welcome to this uh, new video so this is the continuation of the model question paper solutions till now where we have discussed all the solutions related to module 1 2 and 3 okay those who have not seen those videos you can refer it it is available in our channel or in our playlist okay so please refer those three videos and after that come this video come to this video and refer the solutions for uh, module 4 Okay, model question paper solutions for solutions we are providing it to you all. Okay, so uh, the first question 7a and b that is explain the structure of interrupt priority and interrupt enable register and analyze the interrupt control. So these two questions are uh, not there this time in the syllabus. Okay, the this time uh, in the because this model question paper was set before the before only where the syllabus was not even declared. So that's why these two concepts are uh, deleted from the syllabus that is interrupt priority and interrupt control. So that's why we have not provided the solutions for you all. So these two questions you can skip it. So now let's go to the next question that is 7c. Explain how multiple interrupts are handled in 8051 microcontroller. Okay. So multiple interrupts for that we need to be uh, discussing the programming interrupts. Okay. It's a simple bit level diagram. Okay. So these are the bit values of uh, IE register of 8051 microcontroller. Okay. It's a theory part. And this IE register is a very very important uh, part and this external enable or uh, this value always should be equal to 1 in order to function this uh, programming interrupts in order to execute any interrupts okay this value should always be equal to 1 so these are not all the explanation part you can note it down okay so for example they are given IE if it is 0x81 it enables the external interrupt ex0 and if IE is 0x this is 90 okay not 88 90 so it enables serial interrupt in case of whenever it's 90 yeah so this is the real uh, theory part you can take it down so now the next question is list the step steps involved in executing an interrupt okay this carries eight marks but uh, yeah they have not there are no many steps for this so you can add some theory part of programming serial interrupts and these are the four steps here that is enable the serial interrupt to configure the ie register configure the scon register by giving it any value so write the routine or function for the serial interrupt. The interrupt number is 4. Clear the TI and RI flags within the routine. Okay. So that's all. These are the list involved in executing an interrupt. So the next question, uh, the solution is again not provided to, this is not available within us. So we would be providing it in a shorter time or you can wait it. So yeah. So now let's see the next question. 8C. That is explain the steps involved in programming serial communication interrupts. Okay, that is steps to program 8051 to transfer the data serially. So again, there are uh, uh, so around eight steps. That is first, the TMOT register is loaded with the value 20H, indicating the use of timer one mode two. Timer one mode two says that it is 8-bit auto reload timer to set the baud rate. So TH1 is loaded with one of the values to set the baud rates for serial data transfer. The NSCON register is loaded with value 50H, having the serial serial mode one one start bit and one stop bit okay this is the simple data of SCON register so TR1 is set to 1 start timer 1 so TI is cleared by the statement CLRTI so character byte to be transferred serially when written in SBUF register TI flag bit is monitored with the use of instruction JNBTI and target to see if character has been transferred completely then to transfer the next character again we need to go into step 5 again this step is again a loop uh, it's taking a loop here yeah, so these are all of the steps and now using these steps let's try to write one simple code okay so these are the two codes here okay the, we are giving the header file here hash include register 51.h okay then uh, any name you can give it uh, can uh, it's uh, your choice any name then void main void then all the values of tmod th1 scon th1 depends on the calculation part okay then scon is uh, 50 then tr1 is equal to 1 timer 1 timer 1 it should be always equal to 1 in order to execute this program okay so this is the simple code and the explanation you can note it down so yeah let's discuss now the some set to model question paper 2 solutions for some of the questions okay so the next question is uh, 7a from model paper 2 explain how interrupt priority can be exchanged using ip register okay so that question is uh, again this interrupt priority register is not there in the syllabus so this question is can you can neglect it you can skip this part so the next question is explain how programming of external hardware interrupts is done in 8051 microcontrollers 
with a small code okay so here in this uh, we have not uh, given any code here so the this is the explanation part you can note it down hardware and software interrupt okay this is the general uh, definition for that how to use multiple interrupts in this case and 8051 interrupts uh, the simple but, uh, block for this 8051 interrupts you can note it down it consists of reset timer external and serial interrupts okay reset interrupt timer interrupt external inputs and serial interrupt you can note it down okay so this code is not uh, uh, available with us so i don't know what code they have mentioned here any there is no code for this external hard hardware interrupts okay so yeah so next question is explain the programming of timer interrupts okay again programming timer interrupts this is the theory part here okay then that uh, time uh, this is the interrupt programming timer involves these following steps okay okay programming timer interrupts you can note it down these are the steps here and this is one single uh, simple example of uh, timer interrupt to blink an led okay with time delay in mode 1 using interrupt method so this is a simple c program code here for to programming timer interrupts you can make it you know, make a note of it so again you can pause the video and refer it for this uh, solution so now let's get to the next question that is explain the bit contents of ie register okay that is ie register again so this is the simple ie register so these are the eight bits here involved okay one by one you can explain it so this is the explanation provided to you all you can note it down okay so these subroutine numbers corresponding to different inter interrupts are tabulated below you can see here okay you can note this down as well and this is the simple syntax of this uh, interrupt routine for timer one and for external interrupt zero you can note this down as well so the next question is write a c program using interrupts to generate a square wave on port p 1.2 of 1 kilowatts using timer 0 and mode 2 okay so this is one simple c program for that using uh, to generate the square waveform so you can you pause the video and you can refer it down okay so the next question is explain the programming of serial communication interrupts okay this consists of eight marks this is a simple theory question understanding the basics of serial communication you can uh, note it down that is serial communication involves sending data bit by bit over a single wire to efficiently handle this process of microcontrollers often to employ interrupts okay that is this programming of serial communication uh, is involves the sending of data bit uh, by over a single wire so that uh, the interrupt uh, would, which would be enabling that we can be neglected okay in in order to send the data serially the interrupts which are provided are uh, often used to employ them okay so these are the key components of this serial communication that is serial communication module interrupt controller interrupt service routine or isr so these are the programming steps here these are one two enable interrupts write interrupt service routine main program logic yeah so these steps you can note it down pause the video and you can refer it down okay so yeah that's all so these were the solutions for model question paper related to module 4 okay so some of the questions are pending that I'm going to provide it in a short amount of time. So please stay updated to this channel. Okay. Also support us guys by subscribing to our channel, like it and share the video to a huge number. Okay. Those who are not having the solutions, you can refer it. Also, uh, this uh, PDF of uh, the solutions, we are providing it in our description. If you want, you can check it out. Also, it might be appearing on the right of your screen. Now the rest of the videos which we have made for module 1, 2, 3. Also refer them as well, those who have not referred. Yeah, so that's all. Thank you.